welcome back to another video today we're going to be taking a look at something different today now recently if you've been looking on youtube you might see some people posting some halo infinite mods and you were like oh how can i get these cool looking mods well now there's a way to do so today i'm going to show you a brief tutorial on how to install and use halo infinite mods as of right now we are using a program a community made tool called irtv which is the halo infinite runtime tag viewer to um, use these mods. So let me show you how to do it. Now the first thing you're going to need is IRTV, which I will link in the description, as well as the mod you're going to download. Once you click that, you'll be brought to here. This is the Halo Infinite Runtime Tag Viewer, which is a community made tool. It's getting updated pretty regularly, so if you need a new update, just come to this page to see if they've updated it. Now, to download it, you're going to want to scroll down and click the in development build.net passing right here. Once you do that, you will find a folder called binaries.zip. You're going to want to open this folder. And boom, now you have everything in here. Yours might not look exactly like this if you have 7-zip or if you're just using Windows Extractor, but the process is about the same. You could either find the folder, the zip file, and extract it to a location, but what I do is I go to my file explorer, I go to where I want to install it, select everything, and drag and drop it. There's several different ways of doing this. You can extract it to a specific folder if you just have the zip files in like your downloads or something. Okay, now you have IRTV installed. To run it, you just click on this location. You can't see mine, but it will say, do you want this, uh, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? You're gonna click yes. And boom, you now have Halo Infinite Runtime Tag Viewer installed. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you where people actually download mods. It's from a website called Halo Customs, which I will link in the description below. If you go to this website, you will see many people are posting uh, mods for Halo Infinite. You can see some community-made mods, there's Rejected Shotguns mod, there's, there's some cool mods on this website. So, if you want to download some, go to this website. Now, let's say, let's download Green Knight's Frigate Matt Cannon mod. Because I haven't played that yet, and honestly, it looks pretty cool. You're going to want to click on it, and click download. Once you do that, you will see the Frigate Matt Cannon as an IRTV file, click save as and download it to a location where you'll be able to remember. I'm just going to put mine on my desktop. Great. Now, let's open Halo Infinite. Alright, now that you've loaded into Halo Infinite, you're going to want to go into a custom game. Now, I'd recommend choosing the map that that person made the mod on, just... Uh, I think some tags are only loaded on some maps, so I would just suggest doing that. And then turn your uh, server to offline, so go to server, local offline, that's pretty important, you're going to have to do that, and then click play. Alright, now that you're loaded onto your map, let's open IRTV. Once you have IRTV open, you're going to want to hook your Halo process, let's go to Halo Infinite Steam, and click load. Now you're going to want to go to File, Open, find your IRTV file, double click it, it will say Loaded, then click Poke All. It will say 189 changes poked, and boom, you basically have the mod installed. Now depending on how the creator set it up, so with this particular mod, if I shoot my Magnum, the weapon, the vehicle will spawn in, but if they don't have something like that, I'm going to show you how to get the vehicle or whatever spawned in. Let's go to IRTV. Let's say you want to have 
this item or vehicle shoot out of your magnum, so you're going to want to go to sidearm. You're going to go to weapon tag. Sidearm multiplayer. There are two different variants. One will say MP and one will not. You're going to want to do the one that says MP. Type in barrels. Open the barrels section. Scroll down to where it says crate projectile. And then change it to the vehicle that um, that you're doing. So let's say if you download the Golden Warthog mod, you'll change it to a Warthog. Or if you download a Rejected Shotgun's Pelican mod, you'll change it to a Pelican. And that's basically how you install mods. So now, I have this really cool Frigate Matt Cannon mod. Let's, let's test it out, make sure it works. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Now that's just awesome. Now, if you want to be able to play that for yourself, then now you know how. So, if you want to see more modding videos like this on Infinite in the future, uh, comment down below. But, I hope you all enjoy these new Halo Infinite mods. I'll see you all in the next one.